My name is Bernard George. I am the founder and executive director of New Bridges for Haitian Success. Today, I wanted to share with you our organization vision and especially our adults education and job training and employment programs. First, our organizational vision. And before HS was founded in 2013 as a response to the experiences of myself and other immigrants and the challenges we faced transitioning from Haiti to America. Recognizing that our stories have consistent themes such as a language barrier, significant cultural barrier, and suffering from the consequence of post-traumatic stress disorder. As a result of natural disasters, political persecution, gang violence, uncertain immigrant status, and extreme poverty, and before shares was established to support the community with these challenges to find and success in our new home and country. With this understanding in hand, me and my staff have worked diligently to create an environment where all are welcome and where practical and pragmatic program models have been established to provide our clients with evidence-based responses to the community unique needs. This work includes basic needs assistance, food, housing, clothing, advocacy, to include help navigating the various bureaucracies, immigrant encounter, immigrations, schools, healthcare, the legal system, and work with, with local, state, and national politicians and government to help create awareness of our community, unique concerns and resources to help support the Haitian community. And it responds to our private needs. And before HS has developed an adult education and employment model that applies a literacy focus, focus model that addresses native language in literacy, prepares students for an English speaking jobs environment, and meets students where they are in a system to continue building language and job skills to advance opportunities in self-sufficiency, in living wages. Our current program model is a dual language program model that incorporates bilingual program in Haitian Creole. At this time, I will turn things over to Miriam and Janet who will describe her program and how to become a student. Hello, my name is Miriam Jackson Janjil, um, and I am one of the teachers for Newbridge for Haitian Success. Um, I've been with the organization for about two years, um, and I teach the bilingual class. Um, so it's both in English and Creole, and I have the pleasure to be with Janet. She'll introduce herself. Hi, I'm Janet, and I'm also honored to be part of this organization. I teach the other class, the other ESL class, which is slightly more advanced level than Miriam's. Um, so being a teacher at Newbridge for Haitian Success um, has really been rewarding for me. Um, I'm sure that you probably are going to be hearing about, you know, my student and what they've said. Um, what I'm doing is basically giving back to my community. Um, it has been so rewarding to see my student where they start out, where they don't know any words in English, and then for them to 
succeed in terms of getting a job, succeed in terms of being able to feel comfortable um, to go into the doctor's office by themselves. Um, it has been so rewarding um, to see their success, especially for those that actually came from Haiti that have been professionals and then, you know, coming here, starting all over, um, all over again, you know, to be able to have engineers, to be able to have nurses that, you know, I have the privilege to actually teach them something new. Um, so they've been really successful. I must say that, you know, um, I want to say nine out of 10 people that are in my class actually um, have full-time employment. Um, we go over, you know, application process, how to fill out their application. Um, we go over, you know, how to interview. Um, so for them to be able to go through, you know, the whole process to gain employment, I feel that success. I feel that, you know, that's helping my community. So if anyone is interested um, to come to this organization, everything is absolutely free. All you need to do is basically um, sign up. Um, more than happy. It is an interactive class. Um, I push my students to make sure that, you know, when you come to my class, you learn something. It doesn't matter if it takes like a whole week, if it doesn't, if it, it doesn't matter if it takes a whole month, I want to make sure that at the end of the day, you are able to have a conversation with somebody else. Um, you feel comfortable, you know, going out in the community to basically, you know, speak up for yourself. So, um, I enjoy what I do. Um, it's just rewarding, um, to be a teacher for this organization. And I'm also very glad and grateful and, and certainly rewarded by the work of my students. My students are, as I said, at a slightly more advanced level. And the curriculum is what we call an emergent curriculum or an iterative, iterative curriculum, by which I mean the students co-construct the curriculum with me. They'll talk about areas of language they want to know about or cultural topics or content areas such as navigating the healthcare system or everyday kinds of encounters. And so we try and, and draw on reading, speaking, listening, and writing so that people have the confidence that Miriam mentioned to be in the community, to do whatever it is they need to do. They all come with amazing strengths and resources so that it's, it's an assets-based uh, class so that I assume and know that my students know many things and my job is to guide them through learning more and filling the gaps in their knowledge so that they can function with confidence and independently in the, in the, in the context of living in the United States at this time. Um, one thing that I also wanted to say is we do have a lot of flexibility um, when it comes to our classes. Um, currently, I teach Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays in the evening. However, I do notice that some of my students actually have jobs um, so they may not be able to come during that time. So my flexibility is, you know, I meet my student where they are. Um, so if they need my assistance after, you know, the classes are over, I am there for them because one of the things is, you know, you have, it, this is adults that you're teaching. Um, so they may have an appointment tomorrow. So they want me to basically go over what they need to say. So there's a lot of flexibility. Um, so don't think that, you know, just because, you have, you know, maybe two hours on Mondays and, you know, it doesn't coincide with, you know, the hours of the class that we're not be, we're not going to be able to help you. So there's a lot of flexibility in terms of what I'm able to offer, um, to my students. So please, um, make sure that you sign up and, you know, join the organization, whether it be my class or it be Janet's class. We'll be more than happy to help you. And my class meets uh, three mornings a week from 1030 to noon. And um, like Miriam, I'm happy, happy, happy to to meet with people outside of those times or to support them via WhatsApp. The other thing I forgot to mention is that even if you can't come to the class, all the class content is shared after each class through WhatsApp or email so that people always have access to the material and can ask questions and interact in ways that best meet their needs and interests. So whatever we actually teach in the class, I do actually send it to my student, whether it be um, via WhatsApp, because we do have a group WhatsApp that we um, put in place. Um, I also email them the lesson plan. 
um, so that they afterward, they can either read it to make sure that, you know, they reinforce their comprehension and also to be able to do homework. Um, I don't really do home, um, give them homework because I know that they work full time. Um, but just in case, um, you know, they want to review it for next class, we do so. Um, my class is, um, basically, um, split into different aspects. Um, the first part of my class is mostly, you know, learning, um, um, structures of sentences. And then the second, um, part of my class is reading comprehension. Um, to make sure that when somebody's speaking to them, they are able to hear what is being said. Um, so we, I, I ask them to make sure that they read the newspaper. I ask them to read books, um, to make sure that, you know, they are able to comprehend what they're reading. And then they have to actually read out loud to me as well during class. So there's a lot of things that we cover and I make sure that, you know, anything that we covered in class, um, I send them by email or WhatsApp as well. Hi, guys. My name is Betty Amboas. Um, and this is Janet class. I learn a lot when I start the classes. My daughter was talk to me about that. She said, Mommy, you better than before because you learn, you learn more. That's the first time too I go to the I take the class English because when I came here I don't have time to go to school. I have my daughter, I came with my daughter. I don't have any time to go to school. I just go work. Even I don't I that's the first time I take the class. I really, really appreciate the class. I say thanks. I have to uh, I'm coming to say thank you for all guys. Uh, Director Berna and Mrs. Janet. Everything, everybody's make the programs. You see, I say thank you a lot for, for, for them. I really, really appreciate that. Hi, everyone. This is a pleasure to introduce myself. I'm Marie Blanc. Girls at this school, this also an organization, NB4HS. I can benefit a lot of things. I learn, I learn English. I can speak, I can express myself barely. Oh, so I, I would like to inv invite you to come at this school. Uh, I, I, I would like also to, to say to Director Bernard, thank you. I, I think, I think also my teacher, my teacher Miriam and, and teacher Janet. So I'm very happy uh, to be here this morning. So come, 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 come here. This is a present again. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am Sandra Jabatis. My co-worker called me Sandra Dimbatis. New Bridges for Asian Success is an organization for Asian because he had Asian in it. We are in the We are free coaches, free food, free, free class. <laughs> and I, I, I like my school a lot because I, I have Jacob Bernard, I have teacher, my teacher, my favorite teacher, Mrs. Jackson. She's very, very, very cool with us. Good morning, everyone. My name is Marie Lisette Augustin. I live Patoquet. I live America from 10 months. I learn English 
in the organization no bridges um happy i understand english because have english class the organization no bridges i arrived uh to work in america um i'm very easy with my uh my uh, uh my friends to in work uh because have uh, the organization news bridges i have my computer uh for a uh, learn study learning english online um i have teacher miriam is she is a good teacher she is amazing uh i like uh this organization thank you for all